Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and today we are going to talk about animating text with the timeline panel in Photoshop CC. In previous tutorials we already discussed a couple of things about the timeline panel but now we are going to learn a lot of features that you can actually use to animate type layers. First of all what I'm going to show you is how to use warp effects to animate uh, text in Photoshop. Then we are going to uh, have a look at 3D options which I have also prepared here. If you look at the right bottom corner you can see a 3D rotation on the text. And finally we will also have a look at animating layer styles like in this case an outer glow effect and also how to use blend modes uh, with type. So these are the things I'm going to show you today but to be able to see how it all works I'm going to start from scratch each of these effects. So I'm going to increase a bit my timeline panel and show you that the title here in the front has animation on it. It has a transform animation, opacity and text warp animation as well. So let's see how it all works. If I delete the text warp the way I can do that is by just selecting these little stars and press backspace so there will be no text warp animation now and you can see it will stay with the default warp option which I can always change once I double click on the type uh, layer the icon here in the layers panel I can go to the warp options and it's set to squeeze which I can just simply set to none so now we went back to normal and if I go back and forth in the animation we will only see the opacity and the transform change. Let's get rid of the opacity change. Once again I just delete these um, animation elements and I'm going to set the opacity up to 100%. So 100%. Now we can see there's no fading effect but there's still a transform effect on this and uh, we can get rid of that as well. We can just delete this first one and then keep the normal state of the text. So now we don't have any animation on this layer but you could already see that we can use all of these attributes or properties transform, opacity, style and text warp to create interesting animations. And it really gives us an endless possibility what we can do because you know that with styles, layer styles, you can have a lot of variations. You can create amazing uh, effects with that. Um, and with text warp, you can also create a lot of distortions on your text. Uh, with opacity, obviously, you can do fading effects. And with transform, you can do rotation. Uh, you can do, again, perspective distortion. You can do scaling. Um, so many things. And you can combine all these properties to create interesting animations on your text. So let's just have a look at, first of all, um, the transform option. Once I uh, decide what I want to do, let's just say I would like the text to zoom in, um, then I can create, a, so clicking on the stopwatch, I can create a keyframe and I can create another keyframe where I would like to end the animation. And in this case, I'm going to click on this little uh, diamond shape and then we'll add another keyframe there for the same property, the transform property. Now, if this is the final size of my text that I want, and I can keep this like uh, the way it is. I just need to go back to the first keyframe and here I'm going to use the free transform tool. Hold down Alt and Shift to resize to the center of the text and make it much smaller. I'm going to press enter to accept that. Now we can see if I play, play this animation we have a nice zoom effect. So that works already really well. We can use the same uh, keyframe points. So I'm going to create an opacity keyframe and click on this arrow to go to the next keyframe where I'm going to add another keyframe for the opacity property as well. And then I just go back to the first keyframe and reduce the opacity down to 0%. That means now we have a zoom effect plus we have also a fade in effect. That's great. Now, what I would like to create is also create a text warp animation. So I'm going to select this keyframe here and add 
a keyframe on the text warp and I go to the front and add another one there as well okay now let's set up a warp I will set it up on this keyframe and uh, I'm just going to press command T or control T on PC and then click on the icon here on the top to enter the warp mode once I'm there I can use any of these presets here and let's just choose something uh, simple maybe bulge okay that's bulge and we can always change the uh, amount of the band and we can play around with it but for now let's just have it like this the default one and if I play the animation uh, actually I have to accept the transformation now if I play the animation you can see even the bulge effect is animated so it starts with no bulge and as you can see it starts to uh, bulge up but I can reverse the animation by changing the key frames position I can drag them around and now that means it starts with bulging and then it straightens up so it's very simple to play around with an animation in Photoshop as you can see and it works really well with the type uh, layers as we have a lot of control over how we want the animation to work now this is the first uh, layer that I wanted to work with but I'm going to show you that if you have a 3d type layer then you have even more options because then you have the 3d scene position 3d camera 3d render 3d cross-section lights materials and meshes and even under these you will have all the necessary uh, details and attributes that you need for uh, the animation of a 3d text now how to create a 3d text first of all and let me just go down a bit more just so we can see it so the way we can create a 3d text i'm going to select this uh, layer and i'm going to delete it just so i can show it to you how to create it so i'm going to uh, use the type tool click here and i'm just going to type in snowboard okay and uh, we can use a color maybe use this uh, blue color if I press old backspace it will fill this uh, selected layer with the color that I selected and now I can go to type and extrude to 3d once I set that option we will have a 3d scene and uh, we have the 3d layer on it so there we have the snowboard uh, text and now if we go back to the timeline you can see that we can start animating this if I open down uh, the snowboard layers options we can see that we have the 3d camera position let's just tr start with this I uh, entered the keyframe editing I added a keyframe and then I'm going to uh, go a bit further ahead in the timeline and I add another keyframe there and I can just rotate the text something like this and Photoshop will nicely fill uh, the space between these two keyframes uh, creating the between state and as you can see it's already animated our 3D text if you need more control over the animation of your 3D text you can always use the properties panel where you will be able to switch between perspective and orthographic for example uh, you can also set up a depth of field and you can do so much more using the 3D panel I don't want to go in further details of this because this is more about using 3D options in Photoshop um, and about that topic you can find amazing tutorials also here on PSD Touch Plus but what I would like to show you uh, last but not least is how to animate layer styles on your text and also how to use blend mode uh, for animation so let me just close this uh, uh, options and I'm going to go to the timeline panel and uh, the timeline layer because I have this text here a layer called timeline so that's that's the layer and as you can see here I have a transform option which moves the timeline text from right to left so it has a movement animated plus here in the middle it has a style animation all I did is edit an outer glow 
and I set the amount of the outer glow uh, to different options uh, and used it for animation. So if I go to the first keyframe here, uh, we can see there's no outer glow at this stage or at this uh, point of the timeline. But if I go to the next one there, I have an outer glow. And once again, if I go to the third keyframe for the style attribute of the timeline uh, layer, there again, we don't have any outer glow layer style set on this layer. So it's very simple. That's all the thing that, so it's very simple. That's all what you need to do, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So I'm just going to delete these keyframes and I'm going to show you that if we have a keyframe, and uh, we will have another keyframe, let's just say here. And in between these two, I'm going to create a third keyframe. And at that point, I'm going to double click on the timeline uh, layer. And I'm going to add, let's just say a stroke. So previously I had an outer glow, but now I use a stroke effect. And now we can see that this stroke effect will fade out and then fade in and fade out again. So it is very simple to set up and very simple to use it. And you can even grow effects or layer styles. And the way you can do that is very simple once again. Instead of having no uh, stroke set uh, to this point, I'm going to delete these keyframes. So instead of uh, having no stroke, I'm going to create another keyframe where I have the stroke effect, but I'm going to go into it. I'm going to reduce the size of it. So if I reduce it to, let's just say one pixel, and there's another one where it's 16 pixel, then it will start growing. So it's an even more interesting animation on the layer style, because it's not just simply fading in, but it's actually growing. And of course you can do a lot of more interesting things once you dive deeper into using layer styles for animation on your type layers in Photoshop. So I hope you found this tutorial interesting and I hope I inspired you to play around with these options. And if you want to learn more about the timeline panel, please join me next time as well here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.